Hey guys, this is the XRP fucking cowboy, my roadies. My, my fucking roadies. Hey, this is Billy. <laughs> this is my channel, Billy. You can have your own soon. Billy's a sheep. We're gonna get into a fucking bitch session of pissed off shit. But first we have to like report some Captain Obvious shit that we've known about for years. We'll talk about all these fucking motherfuckers. And we'll determine that I'm pulling the strings. The greatest crypto YouTuber of all time. The fucking cowboy. My fucking roadies. And the greatest following. We'll get into why you're following me. You know. In a minute. What a beautiful fucking day to be alive. Mine as well. Whoa. Please like and subscribe. Let the world know who the fucking greatest YouTuber is of all time. We'll get into this shit after a quick song. Standing in the distance, I hear the bells ring. Darkness settles on the town as the children start to sing. There's a lady across the street, she shuts out the lights. I guess there's thousands waiting when she turns out the light. But it's too late, too late. Too late, too late for love. <laughs> I mean, cheese the cheese and I'm the macaroni. Watch this fucking intro and we'll get into this shit. I'm the light that illuminates the answers to any questions you need answers to. Watch this asshole. But there's something to be said about it. It's possible that some of the largest XRP holders are legally not allowed to sell their XRP. Well, it's Check out these documents that were found. All Ripple of them. Labs, this document says Ripple Labs has established legally binding agreements with insiders and owners of large amounts of XRP that. that protect against a large scale sell off of the asset. What? Huh? Like, people have this weird conspiracy that they're going to, like, lock you out of your XRP or, you know make it so that you can't sell it or whatever no dude, most idiots will sell it 10 bucks as long as there's a dex or a centralized exchange that is selling xrp okay who gives a fuck XRP. let's get into that let's get into that for a minute insiders finding them not gotta shut that off i don't want to look at his face but let's get into it well bray garling house has already stated that the people that he he'd like um his clients, like his banks that he worked with, I'm just speculating. I don't, he wasn't that specific, but uh, on who? But he had already said that he he they signed a contractual agreement that they couldn't sell if it would influence the market. It was only a certain percentage, and he sold it to them at a discounted amount from the market price. So he pretty much bought his way into this ODL thing. Or this ripple net thing. He's like, hey, we'll give you fucking, you know, 10 million XRPs that are worth, you know, $5 million. And you only have to pay 200000 for them. That kind of shit. You know? And then they started, because he knew he was buying, he was, he was paying his way in, you know? He knew if he could get through the door... They would want to use it and it would come back. You know, that's why they're not as profitable as they should be. You know, um, that's why. But they were they were able to move in lightning speed because of that. I mean, what small startup in Silicon Valley is sitting with Christine Lagarde or the IMF? I mean, come on. So come on, so come on. Check this out. Besides, we already had 
100% if you're in doubt of that statement, Jeb McCaleb. They took him to court so he could only do like one and a half. It was a stagger thing. I don't know numbers. Or 2% of the daily supply. And people say, oh, that doesn't matter. Well, if it's 2% after fucking 10 days, that's 20% of the supply was sold. So that matters. But it gets so much fucking worse, Brad Garlinghouse. He had already warned us. He's a fucking shark. You know, he's a fucking shark. Don't don't fucking put shit by this motherfucker. Trust me, my fucking roadies. But I didn't buy Ripple because I thought it was like this loving, caring company. Okay? You know, Brad Garlinghouse admitted. He's like, we're in bed with the man. He didn't say we're in bed, but we're working with the man, the banks. And he didn't get to where he's at by being a, a fucking coward or, you know, bunny. He's a fucking shark or an alligator or a fucking crocodile. Croc to crocodile. Crocodile. <laughs> crocodile. <laughs> Crocodiles just fucking bite you in the ass for no reason. Just because you walk in their space. But they're not going to get off their lazy ass to chase you if you're outside their space. They're fucking lazy animals, okay? Lazy fucking animals. I mean, full of ego, Gary Gensler. So here's the thing. point I'm trying to make here is, um, is now you watch the video. These companies, they did it with are large holders, which is why there's a speculation that Retail is only 1% to 3% max. I added the 3. It was 2. But it's because these people bought so much. And Ripple owns half the supply of XRP we're referencing. Um, now you got Jed McCaleb dumping on the market. You got these whales every time it go, pumps up. Dumping their 2%. They probably have the same agreement. Or 1%. Whatever it is. But if you have 10 whales... Doing 1%, that's 10% right there. Plus Jeb. And they probably have fucking 100 or 50. I know they have over 250 bank partnerships, so that could be the number there. Brad Garlinghouse said they're market manipulators. He said we like to um, be market makers. Or that might be the wrong word because that is a stock term. But you get what I'm saying. Um... You know, I used to know all this shit inside and out when I was a fucking option trader. I made money. It was cool. Probably more than I have in crypto looking back. I mean, when it's pumping, I feel like I made the right decision. But what I just kept doing what I was doing, I'd be way ahead right now. But anyways, who cares? You got to pay the cost to be the fucking boss and to be invested in a new asset class. Only time, once in a lifetime that happens, and you have to embrace it, you know? I mean, I guess the dot-com and the bubble happened, but you, we weren't investing then. Point is, is when most people aren't, that's where it is. And that's why my fucking dreamers and my fucking roadies watch my channel. You know, it's the same thing. I don't have a lot of followers, over a thousand. That's hard on YouTube to do, but um, I'm no fucking Jungle Inc., 50,000 plus, you know, or fucking, I don't even want to talk, promote the other people, because we'll get into them in a minute, but how they made it to where they are, but, you know, Jungle Inc. uses his fucking thing inside his head, he doesn't, he, yeah, he reports news, but he also gives a great perspective from his perspective, and it's all original, that's cool, I know I talk about Jay a lot, but he's a good friend, um, he's helped me out a lot. I remember one night when I fucking shot up a crack house because my fucking girl, not my wife, my girlfriend was there doing fucking crack. And I got, I took fucking a beating. And you know who was there? Fucking Jay, you know? And his fucking Trans Am. He pulled his fucking, I think it's a 79 or an 80. 80, probably an 80. I don't know. He had that smoking the banded body style, but. He was there to fucking zip me up and throw me in the back of this fucking car and say, don't bleed on the seats. You're cleaning the blood. You know? But 
bottom line is um, this space has been so fucking manipulated with Ripple signature, it's bullshit. You know, don't feel bad if your your crypto's not. They were probably a, um, behind the exchange that delisted it when we were at all time highs to make the price go down. Come on, they probably signed off on it. That's why they didn't fucking sue them. They didn't fucking sue them. I mean, it's crazy. So let's get into it. We know we're not investing in them because we like them or what's happening. But um, John Deaton, stupid motherfucker, saying they'd be happy to pay 100 to $250 million in fines. But I don't see, given the uh, environment, the crypto environment, uh, a settlement happening. So I think it's going to go to the distance. Implying that if they get a settlement for, well, he said this, for XRP, it would apply to the whole industry. But that's just not true, John. The SEC made it clear, and they made a point that all cryptos are treated differently. So just because XRP gets clarity for the secondary market in a settlement, it doesn't mean that's for the whole space. Because their secondary market is different than an Ethereum a company, any crypto company that didn't ICO, Ripple didn't. That could be, and we've been saying this too, why 99% of these go away? You know, it's fucked up. The point is, is John, that's a bad statement. You could definitely have a settlement for XRP and then, you know, not give clarity to the space. And another thing is, is, He's like, they would gladly sell. I'll tell you what. If they get clarity from the judge, they're not settling for a fucking penny unless they're dumb. They get clarity for XRP. Because it would be, well, it might not be cheaper given the, how much they've spent. But but why settle for 250000 when you could win in court? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. As long as you get XRP clarity, if the banks want to use it anyways. The truth is, is they would take... That's one thing about that that scares me is if they could get bank secu- banks to be able to use it with clarity and and not the secondary market, I would think that they would sign off on that shit because that's where all their money is. You have to protect your investors. And that's like 90 fucking 7% of them. That's a scary thing. Whoa. Oh, so fucking pissed. But anyways, if you want some more supportive evidence about why XRP could be given clarity but not the space, you know, and then, you know, separated from the, the lawsuit, John Dean knows. Library. It was separated. Come on. And it didn't, like, change the space. I know that it was a lower judge, but still, it's fucking bullshit, man. Why is he throwing that thud out there? Um, FTX. Figured it out. I'm like, how is he going to walk away from this? SBF. Sam Bakeman freed. And I'm like, how? And then, and then I heard something today on Digital Asset Investor. How he said he can make the Japanese exchange whole. See the assets. That's weird. I didn't think they had any assets, but whatever. And then he's working on the U.S. Well, let's let, let's just be clear on this. U.S. is going to be, be made whole, and that's going to be the catalyst that gets him out of out of trouble, and not, you know, spend five life sentences in prison. He's going to get a slap on the wrist. He might do a little more time, but slap on the wrist, because he's going to make U.S. investors whole. And then the U.S. won't really have any case against him. I mean, they could still push, but there's no reason behind it. We were made holes. Everybody's happy. And Caroline, who's been dodging everything, and I know it's because they're saying she talked and everything, but really, behind every good man is a good woman. Behind every asshole is a bitch. And guess what? She was behind him pushing the buttons. 
So I'm pretty sure this was all her, all Caroline. Or she wouldn't, she would have been in jail in fucking prison by now. And the, the whole idea that because she gave information away, they didn't need her to give any information away. They don't give you, like, freedom unless you're offering something that helps them. So it's just bullshit. She's probably the real fucking Einstein behind this operation. First in command. But it's speculation. It was all written, so it begins. Swift, working with, I was watching Digital Perspective Day. Oh, they're going to work with um, Ripple. That He's been saying that for a while now, but not too long. But we we said that the minute he was, when he was with MoneyGram, like two years ago. And he was like, we don't want to own, because people asked if he was going to buy MoneyGram. And he said, we don't want to own, we just want to work with them. Because he's thinking about the Microsoft thing, thing you know. With fucking, you know, why just sell to Microsoft customers when you, get, when you can sell to the whole world? You know, with, um, I don't fucking remember the name, but you know what I'm saying. She took the opposite approach of Steve Jobs, and they both won. Bottom line is, why would they want to buy a company when they can partner with them all and make a lot more money? Kind of like when you see Costco fucking liquor at the party store, you know? Um, bottom line is, at the end of the day, you know, he had stated that he was going to, he didn't want to take over, he wanted to conquer, he wanted to partner. So, of course, it's with Swift. And we've said that since fucking the, the day after he made that statement or maybe that night if I was drinking but you know now these all these fucking YouTubers are taking fucking information from the fucking cowboy us little guys um, that are the greatest fucking YouTubers in, on crypto in history and they're using our information but because we're so small no one's gonna say hey Billy said that the other day I mean took that took all money will funnel into XRP because it'll be clarity on them, not the space. We've been saying that for fucking two years. It's just fucking hard because all you want is trophy, you know? You want to be mentioned. So people are like, who the fuck is that? That's building mass. It's like a snowball. The more you roll through shit, the bigger you get. Help me get bigger, motherfuckers, if you're going to use my shit, right? Yeah. What is this? 250 million. No idea why I wrote that down. But I'll tell you this. You know, I was I just made a side note. Um, fucking Bitcoin, fucking, probably half its supply is off the market. Because of fucking how cheap it used to be and how it was lost in computers. Every time I drive by a fucking garbage that has an old compute, computer sticking out of it, I want to steal it to see if there's Bitcoin in it, but I don't know how to do that, so I leave it alone. I'm just saying, that's why Bitcoin's worth so much. But other than that, um, I think I'm just going to quit talking. I think I said enough. And David Schwartz's comment tonight uh, that I read on Twitter... This motherfucker needs to quit talking. You know, politically, he hasn't been that good. But with crypto, he's a genius. If I set it off, sacrificed my sins, everybody wants to know the hows, the winds, and how I said goodbye. Ooh, ooh, baby, don't forget the alcohol. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Like, subscribe.
the greatest fucking YouTuber of all time. Tell him the cowboy fucking sent you, motherfuckers. And I'll tell you, if Gary Ginsler were to walk down my fucking street, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody, but if I saw him walking down my fucking street, that motherfucker would get jacked. He'd get cut, and he'd get jacked, and, and his fucking... He wouldn't be so fucking pretty.